Training Centre. Today we're going to be talking about body fillers, uh, polyester body fillers. There's a whole clatter of different ones uh, on the market, there's hundreds of different types, but really they can be broken down into two separate groups. You have one polyester filler, which would be called a two-pack, where a hardener would be added to it, which would mean it would chemically dry, and then we have a 1K product, or an air dry body filler, usually used for very minor and small work. So what we're going to do is we're going to work our way through the process and just, just tell you uh, basically the functionality of them. We'll also want to take in uh, some respirators for sanding, dust, and also uh, a better quality one for doing, say, spraying, primer, that type of stuff. And also nitrile gloves, which would be a bare minimum for using these kind of chemicals. The body filler is known by different names. In the trade, um, in this corner of the world, we would refer to ISO, Isopon, P38. So this particular body filler would be really, really popular during the 70s. As technology has improved, also the fillers have improved as well. So we've P38, the most basic one. Uh, and then as we move up the line, we have likes of stoppers, uh, 2K stoppers for doing finer work. Uh, we have fiberglass fillers, where you'd use them maybe would be on car bumpers, um, on boats, uh, RTVs, caravans, that type of stuff. Where not only do you need to fill something, you also need to put a bit of strength back into the panel as well. Um, and then we have what we, what we refer to as a stopper, an air drying stopper, which would be a 1K product. You don't need to add a hardener to this product, you just use it straight so you can pour it out or squeeze out the tube and you can apply it straight to the, um, to the damaged area. Normally we'd only use this product for scratches and very minor dents. Now we're moving on to the two pack body filler, polyester body filler. This particular one is, uh, has been designed for plastics, but again, the mixing of it is the same. It's the same as if you were using a body filler, which would be going to steel, aluminium, and like that. The way we mix it is identical. So basically, the theory is, you can have something the size of a golf ball, and a hardener, which is the size of a pea. So just to give you an idea. So now we have to mix the two parts together, hence the word two-pack. The good thing is the hard is red in colour, so you can see it, because it's important to get it well mixed in. When you mix this product, um, because it's two-part, it'll go off quite quickly. So you need to have everything else in place. So when you have it mixed, you can then just apply it. We just applied that filler on. We would need to leave it dry for about 30 to 40 minutes, maybe an hour if we wanted it, and then we'd start the sanding process. We would use, we start with P80 grit sandpaper. 120, 180. Then we'd uh, at that stage move on to the priming and painting process. That's something we'll show you in a later video. The good thing about two packs is, as opposed to the other filler, is uh, it's chemically cured. It's a much more durable, much more tougher filler to use. Um, it'll basically stay in. It won't fall out as easy as other fillers. Other fillers can dry out. Uh, the chemically cured ones tend to be a lot better. If you have any further questions, please contact an advisor at vinnyborn.com or alternatively email sales at vinnyborn.com.